See, I, I've been to a girl's house where it was dirty like that, and I'm just like, man, Mm-mm. if that's dirty, <laughs> it only gets if worse is, from there. If this is what they consider clean when you're coming over, because normally people are clean when people go over. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's a stereotype, but girls are supposed to be clearer than boys. So when you go into a girl's house, it's dirtier than your, your game room. It's like, ooh, man. Bruh, Time I, to eject. Um, let me tell you, I had a friend of mine that he's like, he's like, he told me, he's like, I went on a blind date once or kind of like a date with a girl. And he's like, the date lasted for all of five minutes to literally like I opened the door. She invited me in for a second while she grabbed the rest of the house. He's like, I saw how disgusting her apartment was. And he's like, hey, you know what? I just remembered I had something. And he left. And then he was just like, yo, if she was willing to invite him into his house that with the house being like that, he was like, fuck that. <laughs> It's exactly. like, oh, come up to my room. You you, you want to come up for a nightcap and it's like hoarders? Yeah, dude. It's like, hold on. I got to move shit around. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't need a, a roach crawling up my ass. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Back with a new show deep in the basement. Professionalism turned off, screw the ad placement. Skip comedy trolling, plate full of dough. People get offended, you don't get the show. And welcome to You Don't Get the Show, the show that you either get or you don't. I'm Jay LaRock, I'm here with Randy. What's up? What's up, what's up, player? All right, it's been a while. We've been tackling a lot of serious topics. We've been tackling topics that go across the entire show. We're back to kind of our original format where we pull a couple of weird stories about gaming from the internet. And this one is kind of interesting because it brings up Pokemon Go, where it's funny because that used to be like the big craze. And now it's almost like this little cult thing where now it's like, (laughs) oh, you really still play that shit? And it's like, yeah, I go out with like six, seven other people in the middle of the night and we're like walking around in the worst areas looking for like hidden Pokemon. But in this case, we actually had a good story where a woman with dementia was found by someone that was playing Pokemon Go. And oh, this man, was out. Yeah. yeah uh, was out, a guy, a guy oh, yeah, was sorry. found by a woman. Man, yeah. Yeah. 83 years old, had dementia, and was reunited with fr- family on Friday. And it was because of a Pokemon Go player that found him in a park in Ohio. <laughs> man. I mean, that. I don't know how rare that is. I don't know. I don't know. Like, if you're walking around and you're like, Hey, look, a dimension old man. It's like, what hmm. level Pokemon is that? <laughs> Imagine that. Di- <laughs> oh, that'd be a hilarious thing. Dimension man. Oh my God, I haven't seen one of these. <laughs> they should make that where it's like you find certain people, it's like you could add them to the Pokemon. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh, Lord. Do you know like- anyone that still plays Pokemon Go? I mean, I don't think I, I know a few people that still do. But the thing that's like hilarious that I sat there and I heard was apparently Niantic wants to um, do their Pokemon Go festival again. And it's like, mm, oh. I don't know about that, bro. Because we all know what happened the last time. They fucking killed the Wi Fi in the park and people were bitching about it. You just walk around. I was like, no! <laughs> oh, Lordy. It's. <laughs> So here, here's the thing that gets me about that is the thing that gets me about it is it reminds me oh 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 so much of whenever you have places like you know Blizzard or all these people when they launch just like huge ass games that are online only and it's like how the fuck like do you not prepare for something like this like even though you do those stress tests. They they need to figure out how to like when they decide like we're gonna do this stress test, see how many people are logging in, and then figure out something like attempt like not even a full on DDoS attack, just like a couple of of things just to simulate like a fuck ton of people coming on. Like that that's that's gonna be the million dollar business right there is just fucking have a damn computer a computer. Uh, area that are like we'll all you just pay us we'll log in with as many people as you want like we'll simulate it it's like an auto swarm it's like we need a swarm here yeah just to see like how much they can push because like dude in, when you sit there and look at like look at diablo look at overwatch look at like all these games that have come on 
and they're like, we're ready. Boom. Freaking thing goes down day one. You know, yeah. like nobody's ever ready. Fortnite had that where it's like you had queues of an hour waiting to yeah. get into that. And you're yeah, like, Fortnite okay. fucking Sea of Thieves was like that. Sea of Thieves was hilarious because like you'd log in and you were like a bald pirate that looked plain and nothing would work. Like you had no weapons or anything. Like you'd get in and it was like, okay, I'd acknowledge you're here, but you're not really here. I like a couple of games like um, City of Heroes or something where they'll have different oh instances of the same area. So what would happen is it would get so packed. Like if you went into like, let's say Atlas City, it'll say Atlas City is the main one, the Atlas one. I think the most that I saw before this was maybe Atlas two or something. And I remember they had like some day where you could create characters. It was like super XP day. It was like Atlas 12. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and each of these could hold a ton of people. So it wasn't yeah. like only two, 300 people. Yeah, was that like, was, that was an Atlas park that was right in front of the fucking, the, the, um, the government center because that was where the main hub in atlas park was and i remember like you'd log in and you'd see like a fucking bajillion people just standing out a bunch of heroes just standing out and it was like you know not for nothing but if this shit were real and we had this many superheroes in a city i don't think crime would be a problem <laughs> yeah right i mean unless the, that's all they did is stand around the little globe and just showed off their costume yeah. while there's a robbery going on down the street because if you think about it, that's really what it was i mean obviously the stuff responds but it's yeah. like you have like 17 gang members robbing one person down the street while everyone's like, "Hey, look at my new costume!" It's dancing. That was man. Let me tell you. I, I'm, I, now I'm sad because I really like that game, and that game was so much fun to play. And I'll never forget the. Uh, <laughs> I'll never forget the people that would get in fucking trouble for creating the like Marvel superheroes. So like you'd make it. Like I had one. I had a fucking huge tank who was green with purple shorts. And I had to call him Bulk <laughs> because I knew I couldn't do Hulk because they'd ban my account. I had him and I had a, 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 a claw scrapper that I called him the Badger. <laughs> the Badger? Uh, oh my god. Yeah, I, I, was, I, I definitely loved that game. God, I miss that game. I remember when the, the I remember the freaking peak of that game was when they had the you could create your own missions. Yeah. And that was when it like turned into the oh you're not max level yet come on we'll grind you up to max level and you just did those missions where it was just like clusters of fucking bad guys that would respawn so you just ran around all the city blocks up and down and it was just like at every crossroad there was a group of like 20 30 guys and then you ran to the next crossroad there was a group of 20 30 guys and you I just need to find out if there's like a private server somewhere just to see there is yeah there isn't oh. yeah no there isn't there there. I know there have been people that have been trying to either I'm trying to think if it was like on Kickstarter or something that they're trying to raise enough money to be able to like buy the assets type of a thing or the licensing that they can create a private server for it. Um, but it's like, damn, dude, that game was I remember playing that like my favorite character I had was uh, a darkness uh, defender. So it was darkness and healing. So, dude, I used to like just power heal like crazy because I had a ton of crap into my healing, and then I would use the 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 darkness stuff just to like AOE control. So we'd get into a fight. I'd fucking blast him where it would do the little like circle with the tentacles that would grab him, yeah. and I could stand in the middle of my group and do my AOE heal, and I could I could keep the tank pretty much alive just with how much buffing I was getting to my AOE heal. And then I had that one like castable single here that I could have the tank almost dead and fucking fully heal him. Like I had so much bonuses to that. I'd love to see that game as a private server, but then also make it where you could use any power. If they, mm -hmm. if they did that, I'd, I'd still play it just to see. You know, you could pick whatever. I mean, that was originally what they were going to do. They were going to let you pick any power. Like if you yeah. wanted to be just a travel power hero, you could. Oh, yeah. You could be able to just fly, super jump, super speed, teleport. That and it, but they were worried that people would gimp themselves. But I was like, okay. In the end, people were recreating new characters every five minutes anyway. So yeah. who cares if you gimp yourself? I remember just that. Recreate. And then I remember when they came out with City of Villains, and then they made that like mini expansion that you could take your villain and then convert them into a hero. Yeah. Because they like all the different powers that the villains had were cool as hell too. God, I'm mistaking. Fuck. <laughs> 
All right, so going to the dark side of gaming, our, we are, our next story is man stabs his friend 63 times for making them lose a Fortnite match. And it, it, it's, it's just crazy because the first little tag before the intro of the article says, we lost the match because of him. He had it well-deserved, said the accused. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to read this, you know, especially for the podcast people. So... Julio Smith, a 21-year-old man, has killed his 18-year-old friend, Parlo John, for making them lose a match in a famous in the famous game Fortnite. I don't think that Fortnite wants to be famous for that. Uh, yesterday, Paulo brought his laptop to Julio's house so they could play Fortnite together and create winning strategies. After playing a very important match where they were about to win, Paulo made a mistake that cost them the match. According to Julio, Paulo said that his nose was itching. And that's why he made the mistake. Nevertheless, Julio reached, well, it says reached a knife. Ooh, wow, they need some editing here. Yeah. Reached for a knife and ended Paulo's life by stabbing him 63 times. After calming down, Julio called an ambulance to see if he could survive, but it was too late. Julio was arrested today in the morning for murder and could face up to 10 years, only 10 years in prison? He says he regrets nothing and that <laughs> he, Paulo, had it well deserved. The only thing he feels bad about is he won't be able to play Fortnite anymore. What the fuck? Yeah, it's so. Here's the funny thing. What I laugh at about this is the fact that he said that. <laughs> the fact that after calming down. <laughs> yeah, it's like he just stood there like. <sighs> well, like, oh, shit. I gotta call I guess I'll call that once. That's fucking funny. Yeah, whoever the fuck wrote this needs to like. Need some Microsoft Word and shit. Well, see, you know, that's one of the things that I've noticed, too. Uh, back in the day, I, I mean, I was a king of typos back in the day, and I still make typos. And I've written tons of stuff, including books. But it, it, I used to be just so afraid of, like, writing something for, like, anywhere else because I was like, I'm going to miss something and I'm going to look like an idiot. I've seen typos on Time, uh, CNN, doesn't matter, like, you know, Health and Post, from the top of the top news and articles and magazines – to someone's blog and it man people are just missing stuff yeah um about the story itself i just don't understand this like like how could you kill your friend like i mean the madness i've ever gotten is when when someone purposely threw a match and even that i think i just pushed the guy but i don't yeah. understand like how you get to the point where you would actually like stab someone and it, it, it's not even like you grabbed a pen or something and you did that. I mean, that'd still be horrible. But 63 times? Like, there has to be something totally broken. And then no remorse. I, I don't understand how you put all those factors together and you get 10 years. I've seen people who have, like, stole candy bars that get 10 years. So <laughs> am I missing something here? Or is it because yeah. he's young? I, I don't know. Like, it's it's... One of those things are the only re thing that I can think of that they would get tame years, other than that maybe a fake story would be if his he had a hell of a lawyer and they talked him down to like a manslaughter charge or something. Yes, you know. I mean, I only... know premeditated is a big thing, so they I, maybe his defense was something like I lost it and I went crazy, and for some reason, right. if you say that and it, it it's true in this case to a point. It's not like he planned to kill him. But I guess you could say it was in a moment of rage. But, man, I I think you have to put all the pieces together when you put these sentences together and be like, yeah. look, first it was over a game. It was a friend. There was no threat to the guy. And it's 63 times? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And um, unfortunately, there's more <laughs> from that world. And this one has to do with Florida, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, a Florida man stabs friends for saying player unknown battlegrounds is better than Fortnite. And what's just crazy about this is that that has been like the big thing for the last month or so. People posting, which is better, which is better. This one stole from me. This one stole from that one. It's like, <laughs> who cares? But someone cares enough. So a Florida man has been arrested for reportedly stabbing his friend, another friend stabbing, <laughs> for saying that player unknown battleground is better than Fortnite. Another young person, Andrew Lee, 19, reportedly stabbed his friend David Owen, 20, 
for saying that Player Unknown Battlegrounds is better than Fortnite game. <laughs> now, David survived the attack and is currently being treated. Um, according to them, they said they were playing Fortnite when David lost. And then he said, that's why Player Unknown Battleground is better. At which point they began arguing, and before the, it ended, Andrew ended up stabbing David. He is still my homie, David said. He's just retarded. He can't help it. And it said, yeah, well, he didn't have to say Player Unknown Battleground was better than Fortnite because it's not. Because uh, it's not. And then I, 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 I just got to say, I, <laughs> I don't understand what's with the stabbing, man. What's <laughs> with the stabbing? It's like you guys are best friends, and then it's like, I like Coke, I like I Pepsi. Ah! I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> so, like, this is the thing that I find funny. So, I've played both Fortnite and PUBG, and I like both of them. I like PUBG better than Fortnite, but here's the thing that I find funny. So, I have a friend of mine that we play both Fortnite and, and PUBG, and he will only play PUBG, but he's the type of person that plays a lot of CSGO where it's very fast paced sometimes. And it's funny because we'll see that both in PUBG as well as Rainbow Six Siege. He'll just burst into a room and get killed. And I laugh because we're like, well, let's play Fortnite then, which is a way faster paced game. And he's like, no, I don't like that compared to PUBG. I'm like, well, if you're going to burst in a room, <laughs> it's like you might as well play PUBG or Fortnite. Uh, I find it funny when we were playing Rainbow Six Siege, because he'll we're like we know they're in the room. We don't know where they are in the room. He'll burst in, and we'll see the bullets coming from the corner. I'm like, all right, we know that they're in the left corner there. <laughs> so we'll come in the room looking right at the corner, and I laughed my ass off because there was a match where he came running and gets shot from the left hand corner. Friend gets killed. I come in and I'm literally like walking in the room looking at the dude and pop him one. And he's like, oh, you're hacking. I'm like, how the fuck am I? And I literally put this in the thing. I'm like, how am I hacking if I saw your bullet trail kill my friend from that corner and you did not move? You're obviously in that corner still. Oh, man. I... Which has been fun streaming, let me tell you. That's something that I started to do just recently, which has been fun as hell. I, I hate to say it, but I really think these guys need to get laid because I don't think that you stab people over Fortnite <laughs> if you're getting laid. That's true. I mean, seriously, it's, I mean, these are just, you know, this is like one, two people out of millions that play these games. So, I mean, it's easy to get the wrong impression and be like, oh, gamers, violence, all that. It's not that, but still, it's just, man, some of these people just need some serious help. They need, see, this is why I talk about impulse control. This is why I don't get upset when someone gets in trouble for writing something on Twitter, because people say, oh, well, you know, he, he just didn't think, see, that's the problem. Lack of thinking. Lack of you thinking. I I don't like to do the oh back in the day we used to do this and this is why the new generation is terrible. But back look, in the day, <laughs> you, you you can't deny that people had more patience. I mean, just That's simply true. put, I remember an uh -oh. I would go and sit in one room and play a game for you know play against one mob that would respawn. And people would sit together in that same group for like hours. Nowadays, if you're in a group and one thing goes wrong, that group is disbanding. So it's mm -hmm. like you can see it in video games where so people don't have the patience. And in some aspects, it's good because you don't have to sit three, four, five, six hours playing a game like EverQuest. You can go in and play World of Warcraft for an hour or two and still get a good experience out of it. But on the other hand, there's just people that their patience level and anger level is just just fucked up. And it yeah, leads to shit like this. It's it's almost the same reason why I stopped playing Overwatch. It is not only did it get a bit repetitive, but like I kind of liked playing the competitive. And I played maybe competitive for two seasons and that was it. After the second season, it's just the toxicity level. Of fucking people in Overwatch ranked, it was just so bad that it was just like I'm done with this game. Yeah, and, and, and that's kind of the reason why you need to practice that stuff yeah. when you're not when you're online, because the thing is, is that the idea was supposed to be, oh, when you're online, you're someone else, or you're trying, you know, you're exaggerating, or you're blah blah blah, and then when you're in real life, it's different. Well, as we see, those lines are blurred as fuck. 
Mm-hmm. So the same person that the slightest thing happens in a video game, they're cursing and screaming and going crazy online. Now we see these people are doing that in real life. There's no separation between the asshole online and the asshole in real life, oh, no. except in real life, people are getting stabbed, killed, and going to jail. Hmm. True. <laughs> yes. That's true. Don't you love ending on a happy note? Yeah. Nothing like a couple stabbings. <laughs> All right. So we're always looking for more crazy, sad, funny stories like this for you don't get the show. So as always, we appreciate any help that you guys give us by leaving comments, sending us links, things that you'd like to see on the show, and we'll try to bring it to you. But of course, thank you for watching and subscribing. And until next time, catch you later. Peace. Hey guys, listen, you like the games, you like the interviews, you like the shows. How about you click on that subscribe button and also give us a like. We really need your help here. huh?